Five teacher. In our first English unit, 5.1, which is stories from different cultures, we have been reading and learning about fables. So we started off by reading fables like The Lion and the Mouse, Tiddlelick the Frog, and The Lion and the Jackal. This meets the Cambridge criteria of enjoying reading fiction genres. We then started thinking about creating our own fable. So we looked at what a fable is, what kind of characters are in a fable, and what does a fable need? It needs a moral. So then we started writing our own fable. After this, we decided that we wanted to develop our creative writing, which is another Cambridge learning objective, and then start by performing. So myself, uh, Mr Tom and Miss Tarrin made some puppet theatres for the students. So they decided that they wanted to make sock puppets. So then they would use these to perform for our nursery class. This meets the Cambridge learning criteria of non-verbal communication techniques, speaking precisely and convey ideas about characters in drama. When we performed to our nursery class, the students really enjoyed it. They enjoyed being able to perform and share their story that they've written with the students. It really gives them a practical way of being able to show what they've learnt and then share that with the younger students, which is really nice. I'm really proud of them and all the hard work that they've put into this unit, so well done Year 5. One day, in a deep but joyful forest, the animal made our animal race. There were signs everywhere about the race. There were two fast rabbits named Bob, Ninja and Bob. They signed up right away. Just one week before the race, Bob practiced every day. Each day, he ran about 10 kilometers. Bob goes to run as fast as Jack because he knew Jack had won first place in the last race. But Jack just stood under the tree and rest. I already run fast. Why do I need to practice? That, that stupid Bob taught Jack who was sitting underneath a tree eating an apple.